It's summer, it's getting warmer, which means you probably want something cold and refreshing. Today, I've compiled my three favorite iced coffee recipes with three different brewers. This is the Aeropress, V60 and April Brewer. These recipes are all what you would call Japanese style iced coffee, meaning we're brewing hot over ice. Let us start with the Aeropress. This recipe is a mix between a couple of different recipes that I've all linked below. Use 13 grams of coffee, ground medium fine, and put about 70 grams of ice cubes in your server or carafe. Now start the timer and pour 140 grams of boiling water over the coffee and stir gently to ensure all grounds are saturated. Then add the plunger and wait. At the 2 minute mark, give the Aeropress a little swirl. Wait until 2 minutes and 30 seconds and then press slowly. The final cup will be sweet and rich without sacrificing the complexity. Now for the V60. Use 20 grams of medium quarter ground coffee, around 25 to 27 clicks on the commandanda, and about 150 grams of ice cubes in your server or cup. Start a timer and pour 60 grams of boiling water over the coffee. At 30 seconds, pour 40 grams of water, and at 1 minute, pour 50 grams of water. It is important that you pour a little faster than usual with this recipe. Your drawdown should be between 2 minutes and 20 seconds to 2 minutes and 50 seconds. The cup will be refreshing with a nice balance between acidity and sweetness. Finally, for the April Brewer, which is probably my favourite recipe of the three. This is the glass version, but the recipe will also work on the ceramic. We are using 13 grams of coffee at a medium coarse grind size, around 25 clicks on the commandanda. Add 70 grams or 3 ice cubes to your server or cup. Start a timer and pour 140 grams of 94 degree water over the coffee with a 30 gram circle pour into a 110 gram center pour. The cup will be very smooth and complex with a nice balance between acidity and sweetness. All of the recipes are written out below. That was all for today. Thank you for watching.